Today we finally try the famous Romley burger, but was it worth it? Oh no. <laughs> Definitely not open. The wait is gonna be about an hour and a half. They're closed tomorrow. Uh, For breakfast, lunch, and first dinner, we tried the, the best piece of pork I've ever tried. A sizzling clay pot of deliciousness and one of the national dishes from a fussy chef. And since we had to stay up until 10 p.m., who was up at that time? We warmed up with a Malaysian favorite. It wasn't an easy day. We probably should have been there like 30 minutes ago. But we got lucky. I am blown away by this kind of stuff. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay, Stop One is a very busy location. In fact, reviews warn that they open at noon, there's always a line, and that they run out quickly. We probably should have been there like 30 minutes ago. Completely my fault. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. you too. Definitely already a line, but the positive part of a line is that they haven't run out. We're in line. I don't, I don't know if they like cut it off. We're gonna stand here for like an hour and then not even get, but it's already around the corner, so. Uh, we'll just do one okay. and one. And then can we try the sour plum lime? Thank you so much. We are at Wang Mi Ki and they're proudly displaying their Michelin Bib Gourmand Award from 2023, which is a guide that we use to find great food literally all around the world. The crazy part is it's only been adopted here in Malaysia since December of 2022, but obviously very deserving of the award based just on the line alone so far. Yeah, this is a sour plum line. I, I don't know what else, like is it a juice or a tea? I, I was sour, but it's delicious. I'm not usually a big sour person. It's like so sweet too. <gasps> wow, I love it. You gotta try it. It's very sweet. I know it's kind of crazy. There's no alcohol in here. I just want to say that. But it does, when you first taste it, it kind of tastes like a margarita. But then it finishes a lot sweeter, thus no alcohol. Tasty though. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Wow, it just like fell apart. <laughs> we got here a little later than we wanted to, but we still were able to order their signature dish, the roast pork or siu yuck, which it's just like this thick cut of pork, crispy skin on the outside, nice layer of fat. I guess I can barely pick it up with the pork though. Oh my. That was like totally absurd. We should have got two. <laughs> <laughs> the contrast from the crispy to like moment of speechlessness. This has a nice thin layer of skin, so it's crunchy on the outside, but the rest of it just melts, like melts away in your mouth. Holy smokes. And it's so like rich and flavorful. It almost like tastes like butter. I'm not kidding, we've had some really good pork in our food tours. That's the best piece of pork I've ever tried. They're almost as famous for their chili sauce as their pork, so. Oh my God, it's so spicy. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I just ate an entire pepper. Oh my word. This is always the telltale sign that Alicia loves a dish is when she divides it. But it means she wants to make sure she gets her fair share of the food and I don't eat more than my fair share. I don't want to eat it because I'm sober. Oh my God. Absolutely amazing first start. Has me very excited for the rest of the day. One thing we are navigating though today is time. All these restaurants are open at such different hours. This one doesn't open till noon. The one we're going to next closes at two and it's already 1.15 p.m. And then our last stop of the night, which is an item we have been excited to try for many years now, opens at 8 p.m. So it's a full day eating adventure. Hello. Great, thank you so much. You too. Okay, we made it to Ha He Bakute. It's another Bib Gourmand, and we made it just in time. Did I already say we made it just in time? They're best known for their Bakute, which are their clay pot dishes. They're actually made in the clay pots, and they offer an option with organs or without. We opted- but With no organs. That is so hot. What do we do? <laughs> oh my God. So we just pour, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, he said to put the garlic and the chilies in here, and then with the soy sauce. I'm guessing this is black vinegar. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks good. That looks amazing. This came out boiling like crazy. I have never seen something that hot. We got the meat. It says no veg on the menu. It looks like pork. And we got two toppings. He recommended the bean curd, which is this right here, and the inok, inoki. So like with most Asian cuisines, it's like family style, which I love. This is such a tiny little bowl, but it's pink. I love it. I don't know how to eat this, I'm sorry. Do I just bite this? Mmm. <laughs> oh 
that's good. It's so flavorful. It tastes like a Sunday dinner meal. Oh, I love it. This is like super like spice full. Okay, so it says it's made daily with a blend of 16 Chinese herbs and it's typical of spare ribs. Very, very good. I like it. Let's try the sauce. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Literally melts right in your mouth. It's not spicy from the chili. I was kind of hoping that it would be and then or something sweet. I don't know it's sweet, but I taste something like sweet at the end. Yeah, that's the sauce. Which one? The black vinegar. That is so flavorful. I don't know if I've ever had bean curd before, but my assessment of this is it's kind of a neutral flavor, but it's very good for like soaking up the broth or the sauce that we made. And it just it's a way to just eat those flavors like more and more. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. So we're about halfway through the dish and they came over and refilled the soup, which just makes it completely clear to me that that is the star of the dish. That is what gives all the flavor to everything in the clay pot. One of the reviews says they run out of intestines fastest. Yeah, it was like 8.30 and they're already out. Thank you so much. We made a quick stop here at 7-Eleven to get what is like our new favorite coffee drink. Turns out it's actually a Malaysian brand called Mad Coffee and it's basically just coffee with oat milk, but it's absolutely delicious and 100% addictive. Mm. Closed. Closed? <laughs> so right there. This is it. Yeah. We came down to Jalan Alor, a really popular street food spot. It's more popular during the evening time though. And so the stand that we were supposed to go to, Alor Corner Curry Noodle, actually has a spot on Google Maps, even though it's like a little stall. It's not open yet. Makes sense. It is so dark up there. The afternoon storm is rolling through. Nice and sunny one second, and then it's completely pitch black. <laughs> Fussy chef cooks best Nazi little That's funny. Ooh, that looks good. Thank you. After a 30 minute car ride slash nap time, we made it to Village Park, which is one of the best places in KL to try one of the national dishes, Nasi Lamal. And service is fast. We got our meal in like 10 seconds. And then if you look at the signs to my left, they have a 30 minute time limit for your seat. And there is absolutely no laptops allowed. So no digital nomad time here. But our dish is fried chicken leg, the side of oily rice, cucumber, egg, peanuts, and anchovies. And sambal? Okay, this is super crispy from the get-go. Oh, look at that skin. All right, I'm immediately drawn to the chicken first. Wow, that chicken skin is some of the best I've ever tasted. It is so crispy, very garlicky, salty. It's perfect. And the chicken itself, very tender. It tastes citrusy, like it has some lime on it. I don't know if that's true or if I'm making that up, but that's what it tastes like. I want to try some. Oh, dang, that's good. It is citrusy. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the real trick to eating nasi lemak is just mix it all together, get all those flavors together. So I'm going to rip up this chicken and put it in the rice. Cover it in sambal. All right, got a little chicken, a little rice, cucumber, sambal. It's a big bite. Mm. The sambal is like almost sweet, but definitely spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely has some chilies in it. But it's so good with the rice and the cucumbers, like nice and fresh. It's really garlicky too. So the cool thing about Tay Tariq is how they make it. So we actually, we're gonna have to find it again after this so we can see someone make it. But it means pulled tea because they literally like pour it and like pull it away. So it has time to cool as they pour it between cups. So it's not as hot when you drink it. <laughs> It's like a really milky tea, like really full of spice. It's not like chai tea, it's like more black tea. Amazing. Honestly, we forgot to get a thumbnail, but I'm okay with it because it was so good, so it doesn't matter. I just tasted the pure lime. You know, I thought I tasted that too, but I thought I was just making it up because that's such a Thai flavor. My lips are on fire. That was delicious. And that was all their to-go orders. Oh my gosh. This place is very much not a secret, but understandably so. Uh, it's raining. I'm in LA, drive. I'm in New York, Madison. So yeah, we saw Barbie. It was 4.30 when we got to the market and it was closed until 6.30. Barbie was playing two hour movie and now it's 6.30. I knew it was a very good movie because it's very popular, but it was a great movie. It was so good. It was hilarious. I loved it. Bravo. Can't clap. Oh my gosh, look at the sky! 
Wow. Holy cow. That is like the prettiest sunset we've seen. Oh no. Okay, the Hawker Center that we were waiting to open is technically open, but I would say maybe like less than 5% of the stalls are actually open, which leads me to believe that maybe more of these stalls open later tonight, or if it's more of a weekend thing, but we're regrouping to try to find the food that we were hoping to taste here, but that we can't find. This place is big. Hi for two, please. Thank you. It's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> is really like past, not my bedtime, but just my like being outside time. <laughs> so yeah, but this place is only open in the evenings. They're open till 1.30 in the morning. And our next stop doesn't open until 10 p.m. What, like what? Who is up at that time? Wake up. <laughs> so tired. Okay, I ordered. Wow, yeah, that's hot. I'm gonna get a chili too. Oh, wow, thank you. One of the top dishes to try in pretty much any Southeast Asian country is Hokkien Mee. I absolutely love this dish, but it's one of the top 10 dishes to try in Kuala Lumpur. It's a Chinese dish originally, and with all the mixtures of different cultures here in Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia, it obviously has made its way into people's hearts. This restaurant packed, and Hokkien Mee's on every table. <laughs> all right. So it's egg noodles, which are my favorite kind of noodles. They're nice and thick and covered in sauce. It's like pork and seafood, lettuce. It smells so good. Okay, it's super good. So like flavorful and umami pack. It's like a soy sauce made of sauce and punched you with it. It's just like super sauce packed. Mmm, the pork. Oh my god. I love how they make it in a super hot wok so it's like nice and fried and all the sauces and flavors meld together. That pork is bomb though. That's like the best part. I'm just gonna eat the pork. Oh, great. It's so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna do a like spice taste test here. I feel like this. This is not your average uh, chili sauce. I'm always tempted to add a lot of the spicy sauce. That's good, that's good, that's good. But Alicia always reminds me that moderation is key, which is not my specialty. Ooh. That sauce is no joke, that's quite spicy. You can taste the chilies from the moment you eat it and just like hits you right away, but very tasty though. I'm gonna try more. I'm gonna try the chilies. Oh, the chilies? Yeah. How many yes. should I put on, one or two? One. Just one? Yeah. Are these pretty bold? Oh. Aren't you glad I said one? <laughs> that is so spicy. It's much more, uh, it's much more fresh because it's raw chili. But oh my gosh, is that tiny, tiny little thing pack a huge punch of heat. It's like it's on the brink of good heat and too much heat. For me at least. For some people, this is probably nothing. Laughable almost. Will you try one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can I choose which one? Yeah. Like this super tiny one right here? There might be more than one chili in here. I had three chilies in the hockey in me. Let's see who finds them. I really hope not. Go for it. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> so it was tasty, but I can't feel my tongue. It's hot. It doesn't taste good. Alright. Cut. Definitely close. That's better. Everywhere I looked up where to get the best ramen burger, this was like the number one suggestion, which is crazy to me because it's literally a truck. We know food trucks are popular in Malaysia, but he is so busy. The name of the place is called Brader John Burger. It doesn't open till 10 p.m., but he said the wait is gonna be about an hour and a half if we order right now at 10.45 p.m. So we're trying to decide if we should stay or come back tomorrow. Thank you for letting us know. We're gonna come back tomorrow. I am so. Sorry, no, way. don't apologize. Right. That's great. Uh, we open from uh, Monday to Saturday. Monday through Saturday. We close every Sunday. Every Sunday. So we just come back on Monday, alright? Oh, we're gone. Cool we're gone. They're closed tomorrow. Okay. Hey! Yeah, we're leaving. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> 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 you eat chicken? We yeah, we eat anything. All right. Uh, give you a try, alright? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Right. We understand. We're gonna leave tomorrow, right? We leave Monday. Monday. Yeah, we leave Monday morning. Give me a minute. I don't know how this is happening. 
They're so nice. I feel like, uh, I don't know what I feel. I feel so bad, but I'm so grateful at the same time. This is uh, many mixed emotions. How much is it? It's on, on the house. No way, get out of here. Come on. That's craziness. Thank you. Oh, come on. Nope. Come thank on, you. Bro. No, 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 thank you. Nope, it's not. Thank you. Good night. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so unexpected. Uh, I don't even know what to say, think. That was so kind. I am blown away by this kindness. That is just absolutely insane. So the Romlin burger is really popular in Malaysia. And as an American, I never heard of it until I came to Malaysia. And it's because it's a Malaysian brand of the burger patty. They make chicken and beef patties only because the majority of Malaysian population is Muslim, which means they can't eat pork. So they basically don't trust McDonald's or any other fast food chain restaurant to make a burger that doesn't have any pork in it to make sure it's halal. So they just made their own and it has become a huge thing. And it's traditionally served with this really dark peppery sauce on it. And this thing is loaded, like literally loaded with zucchini. No. Yeah, it's cucumber. <laughs> it's cu oh, cucumber, tomatoes, and it's just like drenched in this sauce. It's an egg. This is an egg? Oh, I thought yeah. that was part of the bun. No, and then the patty is sliced into three pieces. Oh my, God. okay, it's not thin at all, it's huge. <laughs> glad we're not in a restaurant. I'm glad that whatever I don't eat will just be on the street. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. I kind of don't want to give it to you. No, let me just have a bite on. out of your hand. Oh. The sauce is really sweet, mm -hmm. but I do taste to get a little bit of the heat from the pepper. Yeah, like black pepper, not like yeah. chili pepper. Black pepper. That's a very good specification because it's important. But all the veggies add so much good crunch to like the softness of the soaked bun. So it's mm -hmm. very soft, almost like a good kind of soggy, which sounds weird, but it's just true. Oh my God. It's kind of spicy though. It is a little spicy. My mouth's a little bit on fire. Yeah, I tasted it right away, but it's yeah. creeping in a little bit more yeah. <laughs> as the burger uh, goes on here. And I think it's just the sauce. I think so too. Definitely worth the wait. But you can pre-order. <laughs> that is the key. You should pre-order. <laughs> Definitely pre-order. That is the mess that Nate made by himself. My mess? Nothing. Nate's mess. Everything. Gosh, I literally have stuff all over me. Thank you again. So good. Like amazing. Thank you. See you. I have Romney burger sauce on my knee. Get that camera on my face. You are Barbie. You're my Barbie. <laughs> You're sleepy Barbie. I am. All right. You want me to do your shrimp too? Yes, please help. I just want you to know I didn't need help with my prawns. I just wanted to distract you so I could eat all of this. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> There's literally like none left. <laughs> Can you grab some more napkins? Uh, no. 